Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to use an AI agent for data analysis and report automation. So I'm an owner of a retail store business and I create the record of the weekly performance of all my products in my Google Sheets. Now creating the analysis of each and every product compared to the average performance of the product manually is very time consuming and hectic. So to solve this problem, I have created an AI agent using Pabli Connect. As soon as now I'm going to enter the rate of the new product weekly performance in my Google Sheets, automatically an AI agent is going to do the analysis analysis of the weekly product performance and as soon as the report is going to be generated automatically in my same Google Sheets the data of that generated report is going to be updated. So now if you want to learn how to create this AI agent for yourself for your business then let me take you to my screen. In this video we're going to learn how to use AI agent for data analysis and report automation. So as an owner of a retail business, I use Google Sheets to track and manage my sales data, customer trends, inventory levels. To save and gain valuable insights, I use an AI agent to automatically analyze this data and identify trends and compare the prices of the weekly report. After the analysis, the AI generates a detailed weekly report and then directly add it back in my Google Sheets which I can quickly review and use optimized in my marketing and inventory strategies. This automation allows me to make data-driven decisions faster and more efficient. And I'm going to create this amazing AI agent using Public Connect. For that, on a new page, I'm going to browse the website of Public Connect. That is www.pabli.com slash connect right here. After browsing the website, you can see Public Connect's landing page is going to appear in front of you. On the landing page, you have two options, sign in or sign up for free. If you're an existing user, you can directly sign into your Public Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. I'm an existing user, so I'm going to sign into my Public Connect account. After that, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the applications that Pabli provides from which I'm going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on this access now button right over here. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you and in order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right here that says create workflow. For that, I'm going to click on this button right here. It is asking for the name of the workflow which is going to be AI agent for data analysis and report automation. This is the name I want to give to my workflow. And for the folder on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created these many folders in my Pabli Connect account. And from these folders, I'm going to select a specific one in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. These are the folders from which I'm going to select AI agents as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow is then created in the name of AI agent for data analysis and report automation and you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is the action window. So what is trigger and action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. I'm going to set up my trigger step first. And for the trigger application over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. As in my Google Sheets, I create the record of my weekly sales and inventories. I want that as soon as I'm going to add the new data in my spreadsheet, automatically the trigger is going to capture the response of that. For my trigger event, I'm going to select as new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. Now using this unique webhook URL, we are going to build the connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. Firstly, copy this URL from here and open your Google Sheet that you want to connect to Public Connect. So this is my spreadsheet and in order to connect the spreadsheet from the panel, go to extensions, go to add-ons and click on this get add-ons option right here. 
this window is going to appear in front of you on which on the search bar we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. So I'm going to select the Pabli Connect Webhooks over here. You can see that I've already installed Pabli Connect Webhooks so I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webhooks, please do install it so that with the help of it you can build the connection between your spreadsheet and Pabli Connect, okay? After installing, go back and then simply refresh this spreadsheet from here. After refreshing the spreadsheet, go back to extensions and now you can see option Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click on it. From the drop down, you have to go to the initial setup option right here. Then you can see the initial setup window is going to appear in front of you which is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. Firstly, for the webhook URL, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. For the trigger column, it says the trigger column will be your final data column on which of the data is added. The whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. In this spreadsheet, my final data column, that is trigger column, is inventory level. I'm going to add the final data in this row right here. As soon as I'm going to enter the data in this column, the entire row's data is going to be forwarded towards this webhook URL. So my trigger column is going to be column E. After entering the webhook URL and the trigger column, I'm going to click on this submit button over here. You can see it says setup configured successfully. Now I'm going to go back. The steps that I'm going to tell you right now are very important. So please do not forget to follow them. Go back to extensions and public init webhooks. Now from the drop down, select this option send on event over here. It is mandatory to click on send on event so that as soon as you go to enter the data in the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet is going to send that new data to Pabli Connect. That is why it is mandatory to click on send on event. Okay. So this is how you build the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Now you can see in the workflow it says waiting for webhook response. So now to check whether Google Sheets is successfully connected to Pabli Connect or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the new data in the spreadsheet over here. And after doing that, I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of the new data or not. Okay, so let me add the new details over here in the spreadsheet. You can see I've added the new data. Product name cotton t-shirt, sales quantity 45, sales revenue 56,250, customer demographics male 25 to 34 from Mumbai, inventory level is 120. You can see I've added the details in the spreadsheet right here. As I've done that, now I'm going to open my workflow and scroll down. And yes, the response is automatically captured right here. Sales revenue 56,250, quantity is 45, this is the row index. Product name, cotton t-shirt, inventory level 120, and this is the customer demographics. So you can see the response has been captured in our trigger. This means that Google Sheets is now connected to Pabli Connect and our trigger setup is done. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. As now we have the details of our weekly sales and inventory. Now I want to create the analytics according to that. I have an average of two of my products that I'm selling in my business. And I want to compare the average performance with the weekly performance of my product. Okay. So now for that, I'm going to use an AI agent. And for my AI agent, I am selecting it as open AI right over here. I'm using my AI agent as OpenAI. If you want to use any other AI platforms, you can definitely do that according to your requirement. For the action event, I'm going to select as chat GPT and then I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you on which click on our new connection or else you can select the existing connection from before. Now over here, it is asking for the token. For generating the token, go to this hyperlink given here below in the help desk right here. The API keys page of your OpenAI account is then going to appear in front of you. And to generate a new key, click on this create new secret key button on the top right corner. It is asking for the name of the key. For the name of the key over here, I'm going to write it as new key 01. Okay, so, so this is the dummy name, project, default project. And for the permissions, we have to select it as all. And then I'm going to click on this create secret key button. A token is generated. I'm going to copy this token from here and paste it in this field and click on this save button. And you can see OpenAI is connected to Pabli Connect. After that over here it is asking for me to select the AI model. With the help of which AI model are we going to generate the content? For the AI model I'm going to select it as GPT-40 mini. But if you want to use any other AI models you can definitely select it from the drop down. After that it is asking for the prompt. Prompt is the text with the help of which the AI agent is going to generate the content according to our requirement. 
In the prompt, we need to specify all the things that we want and do not want. So for the prompt over here, I'm going to write it as. So this is my prompt right here. Analyze the weekly sales data for each product in this Google Sheets. For each product, compare the weekly performance against the established averages. So I've added the averages of the cotton t-shirt and the denim jeans in my prompt right over here. And this AI agent is going to compare the averages with the weekly performance of the specific product. For each product, calculate the weekly sales quantity, weekly sales revenue, inventory levels and compare them to the average. Over here, the product specification, it is asking for the product details. Provide a performance summary for this product, highlighting if the product is performing above or below the average in terms of sales, revenue and inventory. Include actionable insight based on the comparison, such as recommendations for restocking and marketing focus. You can see right over here, this is the entire prompt. If you want to copy this prompt, you can find this prompt in the link of this workflow below in the description. Now for the data of this field of the product, I'm going to map the data, which is inserting data from the previous step. So I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how it works is that, that as soon as I'm going to select this data of the product name over here, the previous step is going to appear. I'm going to click on it, the same responses over here. In the response, we have received the product name and for this product, I want to generate the analysis. So I'm going to select the data of the product name from my previous response. As I've selected the data from my previous response, you can clearly see this data is mapped. And as I've mapped this data, the data has now become dynamic. That means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data. Similarly, for the sales quantity data, I'm going to map the data of the sales quantity. It is asking for me to insert the product name here as well. So I'm going to map the data of the product name over here as well. So this is the entire prompt and I've selected the AI model. Now I'm going to click on this save and send test request button. And within few seconds, the analysis of this product is going to be done by this AI agent. So as now you can see the response has been captured. In the response, you've received the message content and this is the content generated by my AI agent. Is the performance analysis of the cotton t-shirt the weekly quantity you can see right over here the comparison is right here weekly sales revenue comparison is over here inventory levels comparison is right over here performance summary you can see it says above average above average above average actionable insights is also right here restocking strategy marketing focus sales promotion product range expansion sales tracking and lastly there is a conclusion you can see this is the proper analysis done by the AI agent for my weekly sales of the product details that I've added in my spreadsheet. So as now we have received the response, I want to add the data of this generated response in my spreadsheet over here to keep the systematic record. For that, I'm going to add an action step to this workflow. And for the action application, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets over here. An action event over here is going to be update row as now we're going to update the row with this AI generated content over here in this row that is generated report. And then I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection from before. After that, click on the sign in with Google button right here. This window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for me to choose an account. We have to select the account in which we have created the spreadsheet. So this is the account. I'm going to select it from here. After that, this window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for the permission for this account. For that, I'm going to click on this allow button as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Public Connect. So I'm going to click on this allow button right over here. And as I've done that, you can see Google Sheets has now been connected to Public Connect. After that, it is asking for me to select the spreadsheet. For the spreadsheet, I'm going to select the spreadsheet in the name of Weekly Sales Inventory Insights. So for the spreadsheet over here, I'm going to select as Weekly Sales Inventory Insights, okay? After that, it is asking for the sheet. I've created a single sheet in the name of Sheet 1. So for the sheet, I'm going to select as Sheet 1. For the row index, I'm going to map the date of the row index from the step right here. Do I want to update the product name sales quantity? No, I just want to update the generated report. So I'm going to map the date of the report that is generated by my AI agent over here in this field. And then simply I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. I have received a response, which is a positive response. So if I'm going to open my spreadsheet and yes, my spreadsheet has been updated with the report right here. Okay, I'm going to just 
rearrange the entire report over here. You can see this is the report that is generated by my AI agent for the product's performance of the week. Okay, you can see this is the entire report over here generated by the AI agent. It's a very detailed report. And in this manner, this AI agent is going to generate the report and keep the record of it in the spreadsheet so that we can have the data in our hand in a very systematic manner. And in this manner, we can create this AI agent using Pabli Connect. So now to Savjala, what we have done over here, my trigger is Google Sheets New Year Updated Spreadsheet Row. As soon as I'm going to enter the weekly sales performance of a product in my spreadsheet, the trigger is going to capture the response of that. Using the details in AI agent that is OpenAI chart GPT is going to generate the report, the analysis of the performance of the product. As the report is generated automatically, that content is going to be added back in my spreadsheet, Google Sheets update row. The report is going to be added back to the row, okay? And in this manner, you can create this AI agent for data analysis and report automation using Public Connect. So this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, you can contact us on support at the rate Pabli .com. If you have any queries, you can check the queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video.